Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Project Nightmares Case 36 Henrietta Kedward. Who remembers this game? I played it a long time ago. I think I played the alpha or the demo or something, but it was uh, updated a couple days ago with lots of new content. Apparently chapter one is now complete. There's new enemies, there's new puzzles, there's voice acting. So big update. We're gonna check it out in this video. Hey, creepy doll thing, are you excited? Yeah, me neither. I made it shake its head with the mouse. Everything we know about Case 36 centers around the figure of Henrietta Kedward. Apparently, she was an ill-tempered hermit whom the townsfolk avoided at all costs, but most other information about her is gone, as if it's been intentionally buried. The Project Nightmares team tracked down a mysterious doll, emitting a strong malignant energy that seems linked to Kedward. The store clerk who turned the doll over to our team told them that he found it in an abandoned town in the south. Press any key to continue. Let's go. Let's find out more about Henrietta Kedward. <laughs> Sudden tutorial. Candles have been used to light one's way since ancient times. The witches of ages past discovered that the color of a candle's wax alters the spiritual energy its light emits. The yellow candle has a very useful light for protection against evil entities. Light an unlit candle with another in order to help protect yourself. Okay. Great. Can I... Let's pick up the candle. Okay, gather information about the house. Find three photos. Find the four lost masks in the house. No problem. Okay, so we spawned in a dead end. I'm not gonna question that. Let's just move on already. So the game looks great, just like it did when I played it. A year ago or so. Don't turn the candle like that. Ah, a high strength magnifying glass that we'll put back because we have no use for it. Now I remember there being a key. Oh, okay. We'll just stow that for now, that giant wax candle. Stop turning it. I guess it's to dispose of excess wax. Got it. Any keys around here? I'm always on the hunt for keys. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh no. Ah, a headless body that exploded. Now that's scary. Hey, if you guys didn't know, I went to TwitchCon this weekend. I have a Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash John Wolf. Free promotion. It's free promotion because it's my thing that I'm promoting. Hashtag sponsored by me. I'm, I'm not finding anything so far. I think the wax is actually... I think the candle's actually shrinking as time goes on, which is a nice attention to detail. We'll see if I have it right. In a little bit, I guess, when the candle is no more. Okay. So that's unfortunate. What's going on here? Huh. No! Light it! Quickly, we must have the light! What happened? My candle got blown out. Hmm. Alright, it looks like there's a door open over here. Let's go check it out. Alright. <laughs> Never mind then. Yeah, I'll say. Probably whoever just pulled it shut. Wait, oh, I was supposed to wait. You okay? Our character is very upset. Light the candle. How long does it take to light the candle? Okay. All right, so now I know I got to get the triangles to match up. Salt circle. In every ritual of spiritual invocation, a magic barrier is created by sprinkling a circle of salt. This serves to protect people from evil entities who cannot cross the barrier. Uh, that's not a circle. I think someone needs to go back to geometry class. That's a line of salt. Wow, somebody went crazy with the fog machine in here. I think there's a salt circle over here. Aha! Uh -huh. We made it to the other side, I think. What's that? Salt. Salt purifies malign entities. 
To keep a spirit away, just toss a handful of salt. Wow, let's take some. Hey, did you guys know I have a Twitch channel? <laughs> oh yeah, right, TwitchCon. TwitchCon was great. Had a fun time. It's, it was a convention. Obviously. So it was called TwitchCon. The door open. It was in San Diego, so I got to see the San Diego Convention Center. One of the best convention centers in the U.S. It's where they always hold San Diego Comic-Con, like THE Comic-Con. It's an old mansion of some kind. This must be the Kedward house. Wait, is that the same voice actor as who we're playing as? Sounds a little different. A photo of an old mansion in a strange frame. Are we gonna what keep an it? interesting object. Maybe if I turn these pieces... Oh my gosh! Puzzles, guys! Wait. Hang on. This is... strange. Okay. That's what I want. But they go back. What? Oh, this is so frustrating. You have like an exact amount of time to do this. You have an exact amount of time to do this. And what's frustrating is that when you hold down rotate, sometimes it, it, it doesn't activate the click. Distorts in a strange way. Maybe it'll help me see something. It might seem like it's a lot easier than it is. Trust me, the thing's very sensitive. You can't hold down on the rotate. You have to you have to snap into it with a manual one click. It's hard to explain. It's very finicky. Okay, uh press to use it. An optical instrument used in olden times to see messages hidden in the walls. Neato. Ah, okay. So you can either hold down R or hold down left mouse button, which it should probably clarify that you have to hold down left mouse button. But whatever, please don't make me do that again. I don't want to do that again. Please. Cool. Answer the phone. I can't hear you over the flies. Ooh. Scary lady. We'll take that candle. Unlit candle, thank you. Okay, I guess that one's done. Good thing I got it. I can't open this door. Oh no, that's a shame. I like how he says it before he even fidgets with the doorknob. How do you know you? Oh no. Don't run with the candle. It goes out. Ha 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 ha. Be gone, evil spirits. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's just some steam. Don't worry about it. Man, he really didn't like that. He had a visceral reaction. What the fuck was that? An ancient tablet with a skeleton on it. Oh, I thought it was an incense plate. <laughs> Well, I was totally wrong. There's nothing in the mirror. Once again, what another indie that? horror game where we are a vampire. This has a special wreath thing on it. Door's locked. Hey, did you just hit the the wall? But it's got a special like uh, ring on it. I wonder if there's something I can use on this door. We shall find out at a later time, I guess. What? That's a shrunken head. Not in a preserved jar or anything, just sitting out. Wait, this isn't where I started, is it? No. How could it be? Lots of awful notes on the wall, though. Along with a butterfly collection. That's the blue morpho butterfly right there. That's my favorite butterfly. Along with, uh, is this the monarch or the viceroy? I used to be able to tell the difference between the two. That looks like the shape of an atlas moth, but it's not, because it would be huge if it was. Great. I love insects in the order Lepidoptera. Maybe you guys make an insect collection in high school? I had that for my 10th grade biology class. 
We also dissected fetal pigs. And earthworms? The earthworm dissection was very uninteresting. Can I just say that? It was like, oh, okay, so that's the... That's the long pipe where its food comes out. And that was pretty much it. Door's locked. Yeah, I don't think I learned a whole lot from dissecting the earthworm. Now, are we getting out of here? I think we are. Okay, I gotta go back out. Which, I really hope- okay, it's saved just now, I think. Ooh, she sounded close. That's not good. Was she right there? Hmm. What the hell was that? It's a ball, dude. You want me to check it out? There's nobody there. All still rolling. Inertia. You watch Bill Nye the Science Guy, bro? He talks all about inertia. One of his favorite topics. I'm gonna go back here because I think I might have missed something in this hallway. There's like a weird dead end right here. You know, where I was talking about the butterflies. And I'm wondering if maybe there was like a mask or something? Because I gotta find the lost masks, right? I found one of the picture frames, and that's it. Okay. Hmm. I guess it's just a music box that turned itself on. Great. So, in this hallway, I can't find any more frames or masks. Don't worry, we're good on candles. See? Still got one. So I think I'm gonna go to a different hallway then. To be honest, I don't know what the masks look like. What did I just walk over? Oh, I think I walked over the chair. So we're gonna go back out into the... This place. Oh! <laughs> I can't get the door open. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! No! I'm so dead. <laughs> I smoked for seventy years. Well, she ripped my throat out, and I'm dead. What is this? What am I looking at on the loading screen there? Okay. Thankfully, we have checkpoints. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's hope that she's not just, like, right there. She does sound close. She's going that way. I see her. She's walking kind of smug. Damn. Okay, there's one right there. I think that's where I came in. I think there's three different hallways. Because there's that one, but then there's also one to the left right here, which is where I want to go. Goodbye, okay, Henrietta. It was nice meeting you. Not at all, actually. Have I been here before is my big question. See if there's any... No, no, the drawer's here. They're closed. They're closed. Okay. There's a cross there. I guess we don't need that. I guess Henrietta isn't deterred by crosses. Well, how do we know? We haven't tried it yet. All right, let's keep looking around. What's this? This looks like something. This has like radiant energy on it. Salt? Oh, let's get that salt. Okay, we got some salt. What else is here? Anything interesting? I guess we'll just leave then. Bye. Thanks for... Hanging out. We'll look for another portrait or another mask or another something or other. The hell is this thing? An ancient golden beetle. Great. Can we take it? Oh, no. We're just going to leave it. It might be worth some money, though. What's this? It's Cthulhu. A strange statuette. Looks like an owl for an ancient god. I guess we're not going to take it with us, though. Ew. A hairbrush. 
Yeah, nasty one. Damn. Wash it out. You gotta wash the brushes. Whatever. And we're back here. Hmm. Oh, hi. She's really mad. Now she's over it. Do you have a pentagram card into your back? Don't turn around. Okay, she went that way. I'm gonna go back this way, see if I can't find anything else. Okay, if I was as good at finding masks and picture frames as I am at finding these useless statues, we'd be through the game by now. I keep finding them. They don't do anything. It's saving. Why is it saving? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not sure how long the video is right now, but I've been playing for a little over 50 minutes. And first of all, I haven't found any hidden messages with this thing. Second, I've only found one photo and none of the masks. And so far... Oh, okay, wait, I haven't been over here. Hmm. This is interesting. So far, I would say the game's biggest crime is that it's kind of boring. Like, this is most of what I've been doing is walking around with a candle. And not seeing anything. I don't know if I'm just not as observant as I should be or what. Here's a frame. Here's a picture frame. But, uh, you know, even with this recent discovery of the picture frame, I mean, 50 minutes in, I'm just now finding a damaged notebook. Well, can I look at it? I don't know. Finding these objects I can't interact with, and... I mean, it's... I can't open this door. Probably the biggest pitfall for any horror game to avoid is becoming boring, and unfortunately... It looks like a picture of a man, but his face is scratched out. Portrait of a man with his face erased. The, the picture is very damaged. Wait, is this not one of the... No, it is. Oh, it is one of the photos. Okay, so I've got two out of three of the photos. Anyway, as I was saying, the biggest pitfall to avoid when you're making a horror game is to make sure it's not boring. Because a boring horror game, it, it's even worse than if it's not scary. If it's if it's not a scary game, if it doesn't quite hit you right, then that's fine, as long as it's kind of exciting and fun, maybe? But if it's a game that's just kind of a slog to get through, that's by far the worst thing you can do. I think there's just, there's not as much happening in this thing as there should be. What's this? For the one who reads this, this is my confession. Maybe with time, you can understand what happened to my life. She's British. I will try to explain everything. She does not sound like Since that. Since my adolescence, I felt that I was different from the others. At an early age, I discovered that certain subjects were forbidden to ordinary people. More so for a woman. After reading a book about witchcraft, I was curious and uncertain about occultism. There, here we go. Not because of history. This is where but she went wrong. Of the knowledge of these people towards the mysteries of the world. As my life progressed, my passion for sorcery began to flourish. How a simple mixture of substances can change a life is incredible. And so it was. Working as a librarian, I was able to dedicate the most time of my life to books. Books that hide not only stories, but hard facts to believe. You need to read it a little faster, Henrietta. <laughs> this is like the one thing that I've found <laughs> in about 50 minutes that's voice acted and it's done at a snail's pace. This is exactly, this is a, at the very beginning. Wait, is that a mask? A wooden mask stained with blood. Oh, I found a mask. Oh, cool. And it was just right there. It was in the crate. Now that's... 
Okay. So they can be in the crates. Got it. I completely missed this when I was hanging out over here. Okay, so that's what the wooden masks look like. I'll try to watch out for them a little more. So I'm guessing that doesn't count as a picture frame right there. Hmm. Okay. I have yet to see anything through this lens. I haven't found anything with it yet. Also, part of the update said that you can go into the rooms now, which I assume are these rooms, but they're all locked. Well, my candle went out. I was wandering around for so long, and I don't have any left. So, that's not good. Even if I stand near another candle... Okay. Hmm. So don't run out of candles. <sighs> it's just the only reason I'm even running out of candles is because these are so difficult to find. I think this is where you put the picture frames when you find all of them. But what do you get when you do that? Is this a picture frame? A woman. I wonder if this was Henrietta when she was younger. This is a picture frame. There must be somewhere I can put these. Oh my god. Oh my god, we made progress? We made progress? Find the shrine to put the lost photos in. That's right here. That's right here. Small shrine with room to place pictures. Yes. Place the photos in the shrine. Okay. Oh my god, let's do something. I was getting so frustrated. G do it. I thought you were going to do it. Okay, th yeah. Just slap it down. Sure, by all means. Yeah. Can I take the salt? I can't carry. I can all. <laughs> What's such an accurate description of me? I can't carry any more salt. Okay, now what? Now what you got? You got something cool for me? Got something cool? Are we actually. A woman has an obligation, a duty to marriage. <laughs> marriage. Well, something would be a key or something. Except very happily. But with a wealthy husband with export business, how it would give me time to devote myself to my passion. To devote so myself to, to my passion. Hector was a man immersed in his work. A man of the world who traveled almost all the time. But this helped me to investigate the occult in a unique way. To understand what the world in its darkest times punished. The mysteries of the beyond. But I was not completely alone. A mansion needs its servants. That's how I met Anna. How come you sound like you're on your I deathbed? I found her looking at one of my books. And I noticed some interest in the subject. Scared by the carelessness, I thought it would be my end, but it was not so. With time, we became great friends and allies. The years passed and I became a connoisseur of the unknown. I was ready for the next step. Thanks to my strange library contacts, I could find the Book of the Dead. I was almost ready to use it. Oh, almost, huh? Almost. So. Well done. Good stuff. Who? The machine is giving us the first clues we need. Our scientists picked up a great aura in a room with two windows. Go and investigate what it is. Find the symbol in the room with two windows. No, I. I the Oral Burrow store, I already found it. I need, I, see, I need to find the key for it. Oh, I'm gonna run out of candlelight, by the way. So, okay, so, I'm sorry, am I supposed to be... more intrigued with this Henrietta Kedward character? Because... it sounds like she got interested in the occult. And then, that was it? <laughs> like, it doesn't sound like there's more to it. Sounds like she got interested in witchcraft and the occult. I'm not answering it again. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay, so, this is great. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a new candle. Okay, so I think candles might respawn, which would be very helpful if they did. That way you don't actually run out. I have a feeling that that's not true though. So I gotta find the Ouroboros door and I can't remember which hallway it was in, so I guess we're just gonna walk around till we find it. I'm gonna look along the floor for more, uh, masks, though. Oh. That hasn't happened before. Hi! Okay, that's nothing. Great. What uh -huh. the hell was that?! You saw what happened. You saw what it was. Uh, hidden message in the mirror, maybe? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> she giggled in the background. So I'm almost cackling. Right. A human eye. Okay. Wait, what's this? A notebook with a strange symbol on it. Hmm. I mean... Here, look. When I try the door, it's... What? 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 They open? The door's open. This did not open earlier. That's a new thing. Well, don't get too excited because there's nothing in here. There's absolutely nothing in here. Let's close the door. See if maybe the hallway changes. I can't open these drawers. You'd think maybe there'd be like a mask or something in here. Like, it seems like this is where the masks would be. But, oh, oh, there's a puzzle. An old parts system. Maybe I can put it together. An old parts system. Is that what you call this? I call it a sliding puzzle, but... Okay. I think I see the shape. It's just hard because they're different colors, so it, it throws me off a little bit. Get you out of there. Um, ooh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Okay. There's just three pieces. I'm, this is going to be my finale piece right here. I'm going to switch it down when it's ready. But that means I need to get the empty piece right there. I just need to get this. I need to swap this with this, and then that with that. And that's it. Ugh, what an annoying little sliding puzzle this is. So annoying. I did it! Hmm, this painting seems incomplete. Maybe if I find the other parts, I can find out what all this means. We're detecting a strong energy in the center of the salt circle. You should go and investigate what it is. What? Well, how about... How about you come down here, disembodied voice? Search for the missing parts of the painting. Zero out of four. What? Oh. Oh, no. More check, more things to find? More th uh, That was a hard sliding puzzle, by the way. It's because it's a... Three by four grid. I, I don't think I've ever done one of those before. I gotta go investigate what it is. Does this open now? What? I can look through the keyhole. You couldn't do this before. <laughs> you couldn't do this before. Is this? It looks like some kind of code. Seven, two, eight. So that's a safe combination code. Seven left, two right, eight left. Seven left, two right, eight left. I, I guess I'll try and remember that. It would have been very helpful if I was able to look at that room ahead of time. Just my opinion. I hate it when you're locked off from certain areas because you haven't made enough progress in the game. This can't be happening. 
happening. What? What do you mean it can't be? Ah! Uh, okay, good thing I got salt. Salt for days. Ah! Pull out your magnifying glass, you idiot. What the fuck? No! Damn! I think that's a piece of the painting right there. Okay, I get it. <laughs> what the hell was that? You just died, is what that is. So I guess this loading screen is us submersed in some sort of Matrix-like limbo state. Oh my god, I dared to sprint. Pick it up. Come on. We gotta get out there. Okay, it's gonna turn red. Okay. Does this help? It does help. What is this? It's finally showing something. Oh my god. Where's my soul? Uh, where was my salt? Oh, I know where my salt is. It's coming in right now. Fresh supply. You know, I said earlier that a horror game's worst crime is to be boring. I think the second worst crime is to be frustrating. <sighs> okay. Will you please just make a new candle? Make a new candle. Do it. Do the thing. I want you to do it in the middle of a chase. So apparently, when you respawn to the last checkpoint, you lose your salt. Okay. Well, is that one right there? What? I couldn't pick it up! I don't understand. And of course he he <laughs> What the hell was that? Of course he stands right over the creaky board and as soon as the creaky board goes off That's when Henrietta comes sprinting over because apparently she's got the ears of a hawk Wait, is that right? Eyes of a hawk. Ears of a can't be happening. Bunny? So I'm guessing... Okay, so here's one. Pick it up. Do we have to have a full animation of you picking up the... Go. Okay, I got one. So, yeah, let's check this out. So what is this showing us? Oh, so this is another one. So I got another missing part of the painting. Let's save because there's a checkpoint at every salt line. Which I'm grateful for. So just need two more missing parts of the painting. And then I've got to go back and find the painting room. Which is going to be my favorite thing to do in the entire world. I wonder if the other two are in the center room, which I hope they are. Okay, it looks like they might be. Here we go. And that, is that a key on it? Okay, she's walking that way. One more. I believe it's over here. Last one. Last one. Oh, this is how all, every objective should be. Complete the mysterious painting. Where is the mysterious painting, though? Got my checkpoint. Okay, the mysterious painting is back in the mannequin hallway. Remember, remember the code from earlier, 728. Now, since I'm over here, though, since I'm over here, I might as well check out uh, one of these other doors, since apparently they open now. Hi, do you open? Okay, I looked with my lens. I don't see anything. 
So these I can look through the keyhole. It does. Okay, so these rooms open up now. I'm guessing these drawers do not though. I'll oh, get the salt. Nice get off jail free card. Okay, you just bumped the counter with your face. Another candle, okay. But like where it's so there's a puzzle in here. Oh, gross. <laughs> Weird. Puzzle is Is there a puzzle in here? Oh wait, I think that's a mask right there. Oh shut up. Yeah. Oh come on. No no no. Don't interrupt the tension like this. Get the get the mask. I deteriorated uh yeah. Wooden mask, yeah. So that was one of the masks. Okay. Alright, so we found this is where they were. No wonder I couldn't find them. I was driving myself crazy. Looking for these things in the hallways. They're not in the hallways. There must be like one per room or something. When we go back to the... I'm, I'm very happy that we're making progress. When we go back to the mannequin hallway, we'll look out for another mask. I don't think there's a puzzle in here. I think it's just a place where the mask is. <laughs> oh, can it. What's that? I like how the character is just as incredulous now as they were in the beginning. What was that? Thing flew across the room at you. That's what happened. Open up. See what's in there. See what's in there. Is there a safe? Ah, oh, these should just be open from the beginning. Oh, that's me walking on the damp rug. That's <laughs> the damp rug's very loud. Uh, okay. Another salt. Of course, we can only carry one. Oh. I don't know if there's anything in this room at the moment. It might be something like with an objective that we haven't unlocked yet. So we found two rooms in this hallway. One of them had a mask. The other one didn't have shit. Okay, this isn't the mannequin hallway, but we can explore it anyway. Let's look through here. Is there anything? What the fuck? That's me. That's me. What's what's going on? What did they do to me? Well, I don't know, but they took all your clothes off. Maybe they're just healing you. You know, remember in Empire Strikes Back when Luke was in one of those vats? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I think that's what's happening with you. Maybe you were just on Hoth for way too long. Or wait, when did they do that? That was the towards the end of Empire Strikes Back, right? I guess when he lost his hand or something. Let's go in here, see if there's a mask. Come on. Yep. Okay. What's up in here? Please don't make me do another sliding puzzle. Okay, these open. Nothing interesting inside. No, not that one. Scrolls. Who has all these bound scrolls just in their desk? I mean, who has candles? Oh. Locked. Now that's interesting. Where do you suppose the key for that is? Safe. Oh, come on. No, I know the combination. It's 728. Left, right, left. You're not going to let me do it yet, are you? Are you? You're not going to let me do it. You know what I have? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to clean up the microwave, you know? <laughs> the, the things that I try to pass off as jokes get more and more pitiful as time goes on. Oh. Oh, gross. Disgusting. Disgusting! So, I think what I'm going to do is go complete the mysterious painting. I'll get a key from it because we saw a key on one of the pieces of the painting. And then we'll come back there, we'll probably unlock the drawer, and then we'll be able to do the safe. Because we already know the combination. Wait, what? You weren't here before, were ya? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh,
All right, here we go. Give me that key. I mean, that that is what you're gonna give me, right? Right? That is what you're gonna give me, right? Although, wait, maybe this is the key to mm. the Ouroboros. Seems to be a symbol with a key inside, but it looks it looks real. <gasps> what the hell? What? what the hell was that? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> what? What? Okay. I moved to struggle. What the hell is that? She, she looked like a woman in the flesh. <laughs> calm, down. calm down. I gotta calm down. She looked. Real. She looked like a woman in the flesh. What's this? Marriage knocked on no. my door again. No. Hector was a man without a family and was eager to start ours. This was never in my plans and would bring problems to my objective. So I took action on the matter. A woman with my knowledge could easily not get pregnant. After several unsuccessful attempts, the relationship became colder. It was at that moment when Anna became the most important person in my life. I never thought that in my way I would find love. What I felt for her was stronger than any spell in the world. We get it, you're a witch. We became lovers, and we shared in the occult in every way. Hector continued with his business trips and bad friendships <laughs> while Sick I burn. continued on my way. But every time he returned, our reunion became rougher, colder, and even more violent. It was then that I knew I had to do something about it. Okay. So I guess we just saw Anna. Up, and everything indicates that we are on the right path. Be careful. That evil entity is still active. Our scientists report that this symbol in the painting is an Ouroboros. It's also found inside the door. Search it. Oh, perfect. As if all this wasn't enough. All right. Let's find that damn door. Oh, I know exactly where it is. I know exactly where it is. Let's go. So, <laughs> so this dude, he doesn't sound prepared for this mission from his superiors that have him in a vat of liquid. Let's go. I mean, are you sure you chose the right person for this? All right. This is the door. Yeah, I remember Go what ahead. happened when we went through this last time. Oh, what I saw into this. this place? I like saw into this from the alive. doorknob. It's like the whole place is alive. There's a moving light. Shit. I don't believe it. That's all I need. Okay, calm down. Big stinking attitude over there. All your belly aching. What's happening? Okay, I can't. Investigate the place. I would love to if I had some light. What's this? Jacob's letter. Since Kedward got here, strange things are happening in the mansion. These goddamn crows won't give a break. I hunt them, kill them, and they keep coming back. I don't know how, because in 46 years in this town, I never saw one. When I kill one, or when I kill them, I see how the lady looks at me with hate. As time goes on, she's acting more strange. At night, I can't sleep. If this keeps up, I will leave this damn job. Okay, so she likes crows. Gotcha. Would you say that there's a mask in here, though? Is that me? I think that was me that made that sound. Okay, a lot of shattered mirrors. Which, Henrietta's really enjoyed shattering those mirrors. I can't really see. Oh my gosh. Uh... What the fuck is this? Uh, it's like a scarecrow with human parts. This is pure witchcraft. Okay, why don't you read the bloodstain note at the bottom? If you're reading this letter, burn that witch. I tried to escape, but she caught me. Suddenly, I'm locked up, badly injured, and I know there's no way out. Something's up. I could see it on her face. It was the smile of revenge. The only thing I'm sure of is that she is pure evil. All right, Jacob, you're boring. 
boring the hell out of me. What the? Okay. So is this another enemy or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the scarecrow turned. Yeah, I don't like that either. Uh, so like, related to the four elements, huh? So what's this? It's a riddle. It says, the beast without a mouth that devours everything humanity adores, controlled, but uncontrolled, is feared. Without legs, it moves on poor earth, destroying everything in its path. The beast without mouth that devours everything. So fire, right? I, I assume that the answers are earth, wind, fire, and water, right? Humanity adores controlled, but uncontrolled is feared. Without legs, it moves on poor earth. Water? Destroying everything in its path. Well, that, that sounds like it, it sounds like you're just describing fire. Okay, so do we just pick fire? Is this fire? It's the right one. I assume it is. Cool. Does that mean it's right? Did I? An old parchment with a strange symbol. But it doesn't seem like it's paper. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera's SD card filled up because I've been recording this for so long. No! Where is it? So I ran out of room. Escape from the room. Okay. I realized it as I was pulling the piece of parchment out. I have to get out of here. Do I just go? Do I just run? What's going on? I don't understand. Oh! I don't understand. So I just keep away from him? I think he moves when I don't look at him. <laughs> but then if you run right up to him, he catches you? I'll have to figure out how his mechanics work, I guess. Escape from the room. Fuck! I have to get out of here. Okay, so there he is. So don't do anything here. Okay. I don't know. Where is he? Open it up, please. <laughs> it was like, no, you are not leaving. And then I just left anyway. God damn. God damn! I'm sorry for that. We were adjusting communications and lost you for a while. Our scientists tell me that they found a strong reading in a room that contains red candles and blood. Find it. What? Investigate the room with red candles and blood. What? What? Ha what is happening? Okay. I guess that was Anna. Red candles and blood. Oh, that's where I was earlier, guys. Now we can solve the safe puzzle that I already know the solution to. Isn't that fun? Okay, this is it. Can I interact with the... No, I can't. Wait, red candles and blood. This is it, right? Red candles and blood. Everything's converging at this point. It seems to be what we call the portal of dreams. This will allow you to jump to another plane. A dream within a dream. Find a way to open the portal. A dream in a dream? Maybe you want to say a nightmare inside another? Wait, are, are we doing some inception thing where we're inside a dream? Okay, give, give, stop it. Oh, you, I, I like, I like that you do that. Ooh, but. It's a pretty old safe box. I'll need to find the combination if I want to find out what's inside. 
Yeah, I know the combination. I got it. Okay. So, left, seven. Right, two. Left, eight. All right, groovy. Groovy. Hmm, it's a small key. Drawers use this type of key. Thanks, game, for the awesome hint. Way ahead of you. What's this? This book contains the spell of portals. It says, on the sacrifice blood, the symbol of Bakhan will be drawn using the dagger under the bloody light. So we need a dagger, we need parchment, and salt for protection. Is that just telling me to find... Find... Okay, well, I found salt. So, start the ritual. I, well, do I have all those? Do I have parchment and a dagger? Start. Start. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Well, yeah. Oh, do I have to put the parchment here? Oh, I. Well, I found the parchment. Did I pick up a dagger at any point? You can't carry any more salt. <laughs> nah, that's for sure. Do I have a dagger? Wait, wait. What? What? What's that? What? Oh, the dagger's in here. Hemos compartido conocimientos y secretos a lo largo de nuestras vidas. Oh, oh, it's in Spanish. Español. I'll read it for you, Eng English speakers. Dear friend, we have shared knowledge and secrets throughout our lives, but unfortunately my life is coming to an end. My illness has worsened and I can no longer, lo no longer continue with this. I have always counted on you, but now more than ever, I need you. The people of our order know that I have the last copy of the book, but I have never trusted any of them, only in you. All this time you have shown a healthy interest in the occult, which is why I have decided to send you everything. With this book, you will have the tools to achieve our goals and be able to discover the secrets that we are looking for so much. You must keep the book protected. Use the spell of portals. I have created a fake copy to lose track of them. I will leave it in the National Library, and sometime it will only be just a myth. Thank you for all, my great friend and ally. I will see you in the other dimensions. Yeah, yeah. Let me have this. This is what I need. I wonder how many people have been killed with this dagger. I don't know. Why- why is that the only thing you're questioning? Alright, main character. Let's, uh, let's do this. Hmm. Something's missing. Well, I have... Do I stab the parchment? I have the dagger. I have this the parchment. The right answer. I have the salt. So what... What do I need to do? It said, under the bloody light. Do I need to light these candles? Do I need to light these candles? Do I need to light these candles? What's this? Oh. Looks like this is it. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh. No, don't use the, what are you doing? Use fast. Yeah, get her with the salt. Okay, I gotta carve the... Bring out the dagger! Uh... Wait. Okay. Okay, do you just- does he just automatically draw it? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, this is taking forever, dude. I heard you. So that's Anna trying to stop me, right? Well, she's too late. You can go faster than this, surely. Yeah, I hear ya. Good thing I have unlimited salt. That's what my channel should just be called. Unlimited salt. Oh my god, is that- is that all you've done so far? Let's get a move on! Where are you? You know what this game reminds me of? It reminds me of The Conjuring House, uh, which has since been renamed The Dark Occult. You may remember I played it around this time last year, actually. I feel like it's in a very similar boat of having... 
kind of interesting little sequences. Thought I heard it. Interesting little sequences buried underneath a lot of walking around and fetch quests. I feel like this game is very similar in a lot of ways. Yeah, I heard ya. We're almost done. Protagonist taking his sweet time. Did I do it? Am I done? Flip off that ghost. Wait, is that the end? No, no, that's the end of chapter one. Cause this is chapter one. I think. Hmm. All right, so I gotta say, This game has like horrific pacing problems, but the production value is very good. Like the way that everything looks is awesome. It has a very professional look and feel to it. And for something made by only two people, that's very commendable, especially. I'll, I'll pause my thoughts for now. We're, thanks for playing by buying this game in early access. You're helping us finish its development. We're working to make Project Nightmares a worthy new entry in the horror genre. Please remember there are only two of us working on this. Okay, there we go. Visually, this is above and beyond most other indie horror games that I see. The problem is the gameplay. The problem is the gameplay and the pacing and the objective-based exploration. It's just the, it, it slows to a crawl, especially at the beginning. When you're trying to find those three portraits and you're like pixel hunting for them, maybe I was just bad at finding them. But I remember when I played the alpha for this, in order to beat that version of the game, you had to find this tiny key for the door that was in Henrietta's little segment. And it could just be in like any drawer in the game. And it was hard to find because it was such a tiny item. I think that this new chapter one version has similar problems of like constant fetch quests with Items that are not obvious. Could I have found all four masks? Was that something I could do in this chapter or was that for later? Anyway, yeah, my main critique of this game in its current state is the pacing. It's just so slow. I think it would help a lot to be able to sprint. I think having to walk around plodding through these kind of long hallways looking for these items. It just really takes the wind out of me in terms of my excitement for the game. I can tell they put a lot of effort into making this game presentable and functional, which is great because a lot of games are neither. As important as it is for the game to be presentable and functional, it also has to be fun. And that's where gameplay comes in and it's the, the game's weakest point. One thing I, I would suggest is to make it feel a lot faster. It has to feel faster. I'm not recommending that it be like Outlast or anything like that. I don't think it's an Outlast type of game, but it does have to be quicker. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you thought about Project Nightmares, Case 36, Henrietta Kedward, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically. Hey guys, it's John. If you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy other games featuring evil ghost ladies, such as The Conjuring House, which is quite a long playthrough, as well as Curse, which is an on-rails experience. Links to both are at the end of the video.